Hello guys, it's Bob and welcome to Modern Life with the 70s Mind. As I always say, if you've been here before, thank you so much you guys. I really appreciate you checking in. And if you're new to my channel and if you see something you like, please give me a thumbs up button. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would be even better. Um, I'm feeling a little better today, so I'm going to try to actually get a couple of reactions in here today and then kind of spread them out over the next few days. Today I'm going to be reacting to a song that Haley Reinhardt is involved in with, um, shoot, I forget the name of the band, Post Postmodern Jukebox, I believe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I try not to prep too much for these because I like to keep it real, you know what I mean? Um, she is from Chicago, and that's one of the reasons I, I like her a lot. And just to show how much I like her, um, I actually got, a while ago, a signed album from her. <laughs> I really thought, um, when it came to like American Idol, because I forget what season she was on, but it was a while ago, I thought she was really underrated for how good of a singer she actually was. I just don't believe she got the recognition that she really deserved. But because she's from Chicago, I now understand how, um, I have quite a few listeners from Norway, I kind of get now why you kind of hold close to your local singers, because I kind of feel that way when it comes to Haley, especially since I think she was really um, underrated. I don't know anything about postmodern jukebox. Um, like I said, I try to hold off on doing much, much research, because I want to go into this completely open-minded. For what I've seen just in searching some stuff, it looks as though they collaborate with um, many different artists. So that may be the case, maybe it isn't. But once I get a few of their songs in, if I like them, I'll research them a little bit more. But like I said, right now, let's kind of keep it real, if you will. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my headphones on, I'm going to get the video set up, and I will be right back. Hold on. All right, I'm back. All right, so we're going to be listening to Haley Reinhardt, and postmodern jukebox are going to be singing a Radiohead song called Creep. I was never a huge Radiohead fan, but I did like this song, so I'm a little more curious than I would normally be about hearing a Radiohead song. And I'm hoping that Haley does a really great job with it, especially knowing that uh, she's got such an amazing voice. So let's just, just get right into it, and uh, we'll stop at some point and talk about it a little bit. All right, so here's Haley Reinhardt, Postmodern Jukebox, singing Creep. When you were here before, you couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather in a beautiful I was special You're so very special <laughs> I want to have control I want the perfect body I want a perfect soul And I want you to notice When I'm not around You're so very special Yeah, I wish I was special 
Come on. All right, I got to stop that. What the heck? <laughs> well, she did not disappoint so far. I lost my breath just listening to her sing that last note, and I wasn't even singing. <laughs> she held that note forever. Just when you thought she was done with it, she just kicked it up some more. Wow. Um, okay, so here's the problem. There are moments when I listen to some of these videos that I really wish I had vocal training. Because I'm telling you right now, this song is going to be all about the voice and the million vocal techniques that she's using and I just don't have the level of experience to make a lot of uh, comments on that. What I can do though is tell you what I think as far as being a general listener and I can give you my thoughts and hopefully we're kind of on the same page with these. Um, this song is exactly why I loved her from the first time I heard her but honestly I think she's even better now than the last time I heard her. Her runs are just so um, insanely good. They're very deliberate, I believe, for this particular song. And I think, you know, they're very intentional. I've heard a lot of singers sing these runs. And it's almost like a general run that they've learned in their training. And they stick it in a song with a... And, and you almost know where it's going to go. You have no idea where this is go where this is going to go. I just feel that um, she's making these runs unique to this song because these were a little different than I would have expected. And I do like the fact she's not over embellishing things. She's getting close. There is that fine line where you over sing something and you go from sounding really good to just, okay, enough. We know you can sing good. She's not there, but she's getting close. And if you can straddle that line, I think that's perfection and I think she's straddling that line just to the point where she's not over singing it. Um, what's scary almost about her voice is that it comes so easy to her. It's effortless. I'm looking at the video and I see no strain in her voice at all. If you guys see any let me know but I just um, I don't see it. And I've also always liked her raspiness. Now there's some singers that are always raspy in my mind, um, Sigrid um, comes to comes to my comes to mind. She always sounds a little raspy, a little more at some parts of the song than others. But she's always got that hint of raspiness. Haley's always been one of those in my mind that can turn it on and shut it off whenever she wants. And it's pretty impressive that she has that much control. And for a song like this and how expressive she is while she's singing this, she, I think she almost has to be able to turn that on and off. She's got this um, crazy ability, I think, to hold a note forever. And uh, there is no degra degradation, deg degradation <laughs> in the sound. Sorry, that word has always been one I've struggled with. There's none of that. <laughs> How's that? There's no de degradation in her sound at all. I mean, it just sounds perfect, uh, no matter where she seems to take the music. And just when you feel that she's at the end of her note, like I just mentioned, she kind of kicks it up. And this was a perfect example of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just rewind this just for a second to hear that note again. And then I'll go ahead and play it to the end. Okay, let's see if I can get this kind of in the right spot. Let's see if this is it. Right. It's over. No. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. I like that. So jazzy.
Oh. What the heck? Who sings like that? <laughs> um, that is really an amazing talent. And she has gotten so much better since I last um, listened to her. There are so many different emotions that she throws out during this song. I touched on it a little earlier. It's crazy how she with her gestures and her voice and going from loud to soft to jazzy to silky smooth. I mean, all those changes, it's so hard just to do that in a song. But she does it, like I said earlier, um, effortlessly. It's really crazy. And her interaction with, obviously, this very talented uh, band and musicians just makes this work wonderful. I like um, this song when Radiohead released it and gosh I don't even know how long ago that's been a while but this has clearly taken it to an entire new, entirely new level I wonder if they've ever uh, given feedback on the song if they've ever reacted to how she's singing it I would love to hear about that um, I wish I had the knowledge to comment on all the just amazing things that she's doing with her voice i mean she's got her head voice her chest voice the mixed voice and every combination that you can think of she's doing and other than saying wow that sounds really good <laughs> i really can't comment too much because i'm just not trained in uh vocals i'm sure there's plenty of reactors out there that uh can tell you all about that and i'm sure they would be an interesting listen I'm pretty sure that they would, yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have a field day with this. <laughs> but as a general listener, even I can hear what an amazing voice she has. So, wow, that was, oh, that was killer. Okay, let me get my headphones off. Let me get my desktop cleared off. And I will be right back for my final thoughts. Hold on. All right, I am back. All I can say is, wow. I mean, really, wow. And that's just not you know, Bob being a reactor to a video. This was just insanely good. And I'm just saying that from my heart. Um, this was nothing short of amazing, period. It is probably one, and I've listened to a lot of music in the last two months doing these reactions. It's been two months already, I think. Um, this is probably one of the better vocal performances that I've heard anyone sing, hands down. I will never listen to this song again, at least the Radiohead version, without thinking of Haley Reinhardt and how she flat out slayed this song. <laughs> it was that good. This was one of those songs, though, that I think that you really have to watch the video as well. That way you can see all the emotion that she's kind of laying down. If I just listened to the audio of this, I don't think it would have had the same impact. Seeing her perform it, and the whole, even the way the, the video was laid out with in black and white, the, the lights seemed to be centered just around her and the band was kind of in the shadows in the background, which was really cool. I just think just, it was a video that you're going to get so much more out of if you watch it than just listen to the song itself. I'm not 100% sure why I haven't reacted to this song before. I know it's been one that um, several of you have recommended over the last two months. And I just... I don't know why I didn't. I, I'm kind of kicking myself self now because it was that good. And I am quite sure I'm going to be reacting to more of her songs, especially if she's singing with these guys, because I just love that band. She has almost single-handedly convinced me that I should never question an artist again who decides to do a cover or a uh, reimagining to the song, if you will. It's still a cover, as far as I'm concerned. Um, because... She's taken the original and made it so much better. She proves that no matter what song that there is out there, um, you can always make it better. The only exception to that is there's a couple Angelina Jordan songs that I've heard that 
she sang them so well, I don't think they could be made better. <laughs> but um, same with this. They'd have to completely change the feel of the song before they could make that even compete with me thinking that, okay, maybe that's a little better. Because to try to do in this um, genre, if you will, this song, good luck. I don't think you're going to do it. So anyways, wonderful song. I loved it. And I hope you guys did as well. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would be even better. And if you could click the notification icon, that way you'll be notified anytime I release some new content. At the bottom of the video on YouTube, there'll be a comment section. And there I'll have a link to the full video and you can watch it without any interruptions. At the end of this video, I will have a link for my cabinet of curiosities. So if you're interested in that, check that out. And I look forward to hearing from you, seeing you guys again on the next video and he reading your comments. It's always a lot of fun doing that. All right, guys, you have a great day. Peace out, and I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Take care. Bye.